something a little bit different. We're not going to be working out necessarily our bodies, but we're going to be working out our chakras. <laughs> now, a lot of people uh, probably don't know what chakras are. I know very little bit about it, but I definitely want to learn because it can really benefit all of us. So today we're going to have a little conversation and Jillian's going to introduce to us what are chakras and how we can open them up so we can benefit our daily lives. You know, a lot of us get stressed out, right, with little things during our day at work or at school. So we're going to do a few exercises that can help to distress us in moments of stress. <laughs> right? Yes, moments of panic or anxiety, exactly. or anything like that. So first off, I just, you know, the chakras are something that, uh, like Layla said, not too many people know about. And if you do, it's maybe something you've heard just uh, through the grapevine. So the chakras are essentially energy portals in your body that you you give and receive energy to the universe. So you're, it's your connection to the universe and it's the connection, your energy connection with the universe. So there's seven main chakras. Well, there's a bunch more. There's like hundreds of them. There's seven main ones that we have in our body and they run up and down the spine. So that you have the, t the one at the top of your head and then it goes to your third eye and then you have your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, which is above your belly button, your sacral chakra, which is below your belly button, and then finally the one at the tip of your tailbone down at the base, which is called your base chakra or your root chakra. So each and every one of those kind of has different uh, character characteristics and different qualities and is represented by a color. So you may have seen they're just kind of like the colors of the rainbow. We have um, purple, we have indigo, blue, yeah, green, yellow, orange, red, and that's all of them. Okay, so it's going from the passion to the more. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, so, each, and like I said, if you wanted to learn more about them, we're not going to talk about each one in, in, in uh, that detail. That would be so many more videos, right? <laughs> Yeah, that would for sure need a video for each one. Yeah. But if you want to learn more about it, you can easily just type in on Google like a chakra chart and it will kind of give you a list of different things awesome. that will be great for each one. So one thing that I can say is yoga is really amazing for opening up your chakras. It yes. really just keeps everything activated and you're, you know, like we said in a few videos ago, you're really connecting with the, you know, the earth through your movement. Yes. And so that's why after a yoga class you can kind of slip into that meditative state a little bit more easily because you know you're just already kind of on that that plane. Yes. Um, so one thing that we can do for each chakra to open them up individually is wear the color of that chakra. Yeah. So you're wearing kind of a yellowish color today, so that would kind of benefit your solar plexus chakra. And I'm wearing orange, so okay. that would be my sacral chakra. So what, what is, can you explain more about Your what solar plexus yeah. chakra is essentially your, your, your will. And it's also the, the ego chakra as well. Uh, you guys should definitely check out a little bit more about each chakra. It's, it's once you learn a little bit, it kind of makes a lot a lot of sense. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna do a little short um, meditation, let's call it, where we check in with each chakra and just try to visualize that color. And while you're doing that, you're kind of bringing your body back to a state a state of harmony, a state of relaxation. And this is great whenever you're feeling really you know panicked or frustrated or whatever, this is a really great exercise to kind of bring yourself back into your body. Perfect. And it's really short so we can do that Super short. anywhere, right? Anywhere, anytime, like you can walk yourself through it. Awesome. So let's, let's just bring our hands onto our knees, taking a few nice deep breaths in and out. Good. Just trying to visualize the center line of your body center running up and down your spine. Feel an opening at the crown of your head. This may be represented by no feeling at all or maybe a gentle pulsing. So this is where our first chakra remains. It's our crown chakra. And it's the color purple. Visualize a nice deep purple. And then we're going to move to our third eye chakra. It's just above the center of your eyebrows. And from there, we take in a lot of. 
of our intuition. We see the world through this eye. It's always open. And it's represented by the color indigo. So it's almost like a whitish purple. And as the energy starts to flow from our third eye chakra, it overflows and starts to move towards our throat chakra. Represented by the color blue, a nice sky blue.